It was a funeral fit for a queen with presidents and kings, princesses and prime ministers paying their respects. Few leaders receive the outpouring of love that we have seen. That love and sadness also seen on the faces of the thousands of people who lined up to be a part of history. So yeah, it's been fantastic. So we're really proud to be here today. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Karen Drew, first at four. Kimberly Gill is among those in London right now. She has the story of a Michigan couple that traveled to London to be a part of the farewell to Queen Elizabeth. But first, let us take you through some of the pageantry, the pomp and royal protocols put in place to honor Great Britain's longest serving queen. The state funeral was held at Westminster Abbey. The queen's coffin draped with the flag, her coronation crown, orb and scepter. The Archbishop of Canterbury described the Queen as joyful, present to so many and touching a multitude of lives. After the service, there was a majestic procession through the streets of London, the Queen's children and grandchildren following behind the casket. Other members of the royal family following in cars. The Queen passed the Wellington Ark and then on to Windsor Castle. One of the personal touches included a handwritten note on top of the casket written by King Charles. It simply said, in loving and devoted memory, Charles R. The R referring to Rex, which is Latin for king. A loving tribute from her eldest son. The royal family sharing its private grief and loss in public. Those emotions clearly mirrored on the faces of some of the people who lined the streets to say farewell to the only queen most of them have ever known for their entire lives. And now it feels very real that she's actually gone. Um, but I felt I needed to come and say goodbye from myself and from my family and say thank you. I think it's totally beautiful. Um, it represents a lovely day. Um, we're celebrating the Queen's life. Um, I felt I had to be here. Now, we've been talking to some Metro Detroiters who are in London, becoming a part of this moment in history. Some are sharing their stories with Kimberly Gill, who also is in London since Thursday. And Kim, the Queen's death has really touched people all around the world. And touched me too, Karen. Good evening. It is 9 p.m. here in London. And in addition to having a front row seat to history here, something else that has astonished me is listening to the stories of people as to why they felt it was so important to come here and experience this occasion. And that includes people from Metro Detroit. Photojournalist Tim Pamplin met up with a couple from Rochester Hills. It was early this morning. Hundreds of thousands made their way into central London, hoping to get a spot along the funeral procession route. But it soon became clear that viewing areas had closed. So in true British form, people started piling into local pubs to watch the funeral on television. Here, tantalizingly close to Westminster Abbey, is the Sherlock Holmes pub, filled to the brim with those who wanted to show their respects and be a part of the moment. Amongst them were Jennifer and Kevin from Rochester Hills. My love for the Queen goes back to Charles and Diana getting married, and I was six years old, and my Nana awoke me on that morning, and uh, we watched on the television the entire event. Uh, through the years, my Nana and I traveled that journey of following them together, and then she passed 10 years ago, and I just felt like this was a way of just kind of honoring her as well and, and being here as a part of such a special event in history. We just wanted to be here to feel the feeling of the world right now and the feeling of this country and it's it's so moving and touching and, and being in there was wonderful just amongst true British people that love their queen. The energy is actually just beautiful. I mean, it, it's not sad. It's not um, excited. It's, it's just a beautiful energy amongst everybody right now, just in, you know, just taking in what she meant to this country. Again, just a beautiful, beautiful description of what it feels like to be here and to experience this moment. Again, from a Metro Detroiter, that woman from Rochester Hills. So coming up on later editions of Local 4 News, we'll have more from people that we met here, more people from Metro Detroit. Uh, until then, we'll send it back to you guys in Detroit. Karen, Kimberly Gill reporting live from London, Local 4. We appreciate it. Kim, we'll check back with you tonight at 5.